Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. And a very warm, a very warm welcome Royal to Royal Enfield. We are delighted to have you all here. It will be the first at ICMA this year. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. As you all know, Royal Enfield has been around for a very long time. We've been making motorcycles, making motorcycles for over 121 years. And we intend to make, intend to make motorcycles, motorcycles for another 121, another 121 years and beyond. So, so that, gives us that gives us the unique position, the position to, be to be very long-term in, long in our thinking. And, 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 and that long-term long thinking long -term comes around in, comes around in, in, our, in our way of making, way motorcycles. Of making motorcycles. As you know, As you know we tread a very we different a path. Very different we path. do things very differently at Royal Enfield. And that's because we have a different worldview of how motorcycles should be. And, and, and that also 
how we think about motorcycles is not typical. It's not other motorcycle manufacturers who look at competition a lot. We don't do that. We look at, we ride ourselves, all of us. We enjoy riding. We understand the pain and the pleasure and the joy of motorcycling. And, and we ride with our customers. We, we observe them. We see them. And that's what informs us in, in making our motorcycles at Royal Enfield. And hopefully you get a sense of that. You get a taste of that in the motorcycles that we make. And Royal Enfield has a actually a rich history in cruisers as well. In, in Royal Enfield UK in the 1950s, we were making cruisers. In modern day Indian Royal Enfield, there was first the city bike. And uh, after that was the Lightning. This is the Lightning, 535cc. That's the one when I was 16 years old, I got, I was like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. And I used to love this. And, We've come a long way. After that, we had the Thunderbird in 2002. And we had more iterations of the Thunderbird with different engines and others in 2009. Here you go. And two years ago, we had a full new cruiser, the Meteor 350, which has been an astounding success in around the world, in India, in Europe, and everywhere in the world. In fact, our European colleagues who are here, they told us, oh, 350 won't sell in, in Europe that well. But we knew that it's such an amazing motorcycle that it will sell. But always behind that idea was that we will have a bigger brother to the Meteor. And that's what brings us here today. And over to Govind to tell you a little bit about that. 2018. We actually launched the twin-cylinder 650cc as a platform. When we were conceiving the platform, at that point of time, we thought as a team that this should be a platform which will be a versatile one, which will itself render for various expressions of the motorcycles like a cafe racer, a cruiser, and a roadster. Uh, after the rigorous testing, with fine-tuning, we came out with the gorgeous-looking Continental GT and Interceptor 650 across the globe. When we launched, the consumers really loved it and we were very happy to bring these sort of motorcycles into the motorcycling world. When we launched, the what next into this on when we finished the Cafe Racer and the Interceptor 650, what next in the platform is the Cruiser. Mark will talk about it that. So, when we started thinking about a cruiser, we started with saying, well, what is a cruiser? What does a cruiser mean? So for us, that's, and I think for everybody that rides cruisers, it means getting on a bike and looking out to the horizon, looking out to the vanishing point, looking across a you know, massive vista and thinking, I want to ride there. You know, I've not got a plan, but over there looks great. I'm going to get on the bike and I'm just going to go. And it's that sat down in that, that feet forward, hands up, relaxed riding position, and just letting the world go past you, letting the, the scenery move through you, moving through the landscape, through the heat and the light change. And, and that's really the very essence, the kind of the archetype of a cruiser. And so when we started out, that was exactly what we were looking to try and create. It was a product that, that captured that feeling of, of free movement and spirit, of, of being about to go out and see the world and, and just endlessly munch through the miles and, and watch the world change around you. Um, so we've got a short video we're going to play uh, for you now, just to give you a bit of a backstory. So I'll step out of the way and let you see the video. Cruisers. Cruisers. We 
had the cruiser in the 90s, which actually catered to that gig, Americana, where it was inspired, but inspired, but, but subsequently what happened was we learned, we learned a lot about our consumers, what they actually what they like, what they like, what they don't, and then that and idea then evolved, that became into the, like, the, like, the Thunderbird, Thunderbird. They're all uh, they're yes, sort uh, of a yes, cruiser, sort of which, a which is not a full thoroughbred cruiser, but it actually but gave it actually more gave and more experience, more experience to us about to us what consumer is wanting for a long distance, a long distance ride. ride. Royal Enfield have got Royal a Enfield. rich heritage, a rich heritage in, in this space. So the idea for the doing idea a large doing capacity a large cruiser, 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 cruiser was really always there. In fact, ever since we came out with the Meteor 350, the demand for a larger cruiser has been quite obvious. And that's one of the reasons we fast track this fast super track meteor. So the super meteor project started at the same time as the same time. We always knew we wanted a range of motorcycles. Obviously, the GT and the Interceptor came first. What the success of the 650 really did, I think, is make all of us realize all of us why Royal Enfield ecosystem within the company and without them. That people are looking for a Royal Enfield take on different genres, different platforms, and that became very interesting for us with the 650s. That opened our eyes to our eyes to this possibility. This possibility. It became clear this engine was, clear, if not engine. even better suited for this bike. It just works really well in this pack. But outside of that, outside of that virtually everything else on this bike is brand new. It's an entirely new mainframe, entirely new suspension geometry, bodywork is brand new, tank, side panels, swinging arms. We've gone for upside down forks for the first time on the Royal Enfield. And that very first engine you had, everything on the bike really is, as I say, from a clean sheer paper, it's brand new. So when they came to cruising, Royal Enfield is an Royal incredible Enfield design and incredible development. Design and develop. They were able to distill exactly, exactly which parts which of Royal Enfield's DNA Royal Enfield. will really build on build a certain on a version of motorcycle. Version of motorcycle. Royal Enfield's Royal take Enfield's on take cruising. On cruising. Sky, sky, sky. Easy to handle. Easy to handle. You think you can easily get on? It's not something that's not leading at all. Leading it should be very stylish. Very stylish. It, is it is a very, a very streamlined, streamlined motorcycle. It is not what you expect. Not cruiser to me. That it should be a motorcycle. It should be, motorcycle. It should be distinctly it should be royal feel. That, that very traditional yeah, royal rising royal frame, frame shape. Frame that train, the toolbox. You jump on it. Your hands fall in the right place. Your feet fall in the right place. And straight away the bike is right. It's right. We've really pushed We've hard really to make this bike make an this easy bike to ride, and that's a that's right. a that's component that's of all of our bikes. Confidence, confidence really important. Really important. Really you can't have fun if you're not fun and happy. happy. So making sure so that, that making was, sure this, that this bike was really key. Really and it's been really and it's quite, been an really quite an amazing journey. Amazing journey. The fit and finish the fit and of finish the component trees which we will use, use, it should be of the which highest be of level, the which will actually set the benchmark across the globe. The globe. Put a lot of effort in all, effort. In all the little details, all the details that you're going to touch, you're going to feel, you're going to look at. And that's, and that's to us what really us elevates your riding experience and makes it super special. For the Super Meteor, I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to discover cruising through this motorcycle because suddenly, suddenly, the barriers have dropped. Barriers it's have dropped. accessible. It's something accessible. That, that anybody can jump on a ride and feel a high straight, straight away. I am, I am super thrilled, super thrilled super to see that, that the Super Meteor is like moving into the Royal Enfield family, a thoroughbred cruiser across the globe. Come over, ladies and gentlemen. The Super Meteor 650 from the Royal Enfield family.
Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, so yeah, this is our yeah, brand new Sid Meteor 650, and we are super proud of it. Um, um, essentially, essentially we've, we've, we've gone for something, for something that is an archetypical, archetypical cruiser, something, something that embodies everything about, about the genre. About the genre. So, so um, the style, the proportion, the, proportion, the design team, Adrian Sellers and the team worked really hard to get that absolutely archetypical cruiser look and feel and stance and proportion. But it had to be a Royal Enfield, and so we also worked very hard to incorporate some really key Royal Enfield design cues. Um, so, you know, things like, if you look at this, this rising line that we talked about in the video, so this, this design cue that goes all the way back to our bullet, all the way back to the, to the uh, late 1940s, this, this shape of the frame that comes down and around the back of the, the toolbox there, this, this very strong hourglass figure, the, the proportion of the bike just works. Um, and you can see, you know, the, the, uh, on the screen here, these are some of the, the, the early sketches that we did. Um, and you can see it gives that, that sense of dynamic, that sense of motion and moving forward right from the start. Um, and I think that's given the bike, the overall bike, a, a real sense of purpose and of, of stance that works really well. Um, the vehicle de development team, uh, the, or the, the vehicle dynamics team, put a, a huge amount of work into to making sure that this bike is an easy bike to ride. So uh, our chief test rider, Paul Young, a lot of time and effort into to making sure that the, the bike handles and responds and is neutral and natural and easy to ride and it's it's a surprisingly easy motorcycle to get on and ride it feels as easy to ride as our interceptor or, or our other bikes talking through some of the design details on here um we've got some some, some really nice premium quality design details so for example we've spent a lot of time on these switch cubes these are cast aluminium switch cube um, with a really beautiful finish and that's taken a lot of time to get that right and to get the quality there um, and you can see how that runs all the way through the component parts the triple trees the, the riser clout the mudguard uh, front part all fit together and, and, and just work nicely together um, details like the badging you know we've put a lot of time in, in developing things like the badging and, and just all the way through that the quality the bike uses is through we've got uh, upside down for the first time in Royal Enfield, we worked very hard with the supplier um, to develop those, and, and, and it really comes through when you ride the bike. You feel the quality of the ride, you feel the, the, the responsiveness of the bike that comes through really strongly. We've got our very first LED at the front here, first LED headlight, our LED indicators and tail light. There's a tripper pot up there, um, so for navigation purposes, you can put your phone in your pocket, plug in your USB cable under the side panel, and away you go. You don't need to worry about where you're going, you just keep simple directions there, um, but everywhere you look on the bike the detailing is rich and, 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 and works very well. On the engine, um, ooh, on the engine uh, as mentioned in, in the film, um, it's our, our tried and tested parallel twin and that works really well for a cruiser. It's got 80% uh, 80, uh, 80 of the torque at 2,500 rpm so really can low down, it's got that lovely torquey wave that you can pick up and ride through it's got that butter smooth gear change and it just suits the cruiser it really works well in this bike we've played a little bit with the mapping and the gearing just to make it more suitable for the bike there's some small architectural changes to the engine to make it work with the frame but other than that if you're familiar with our, our twin then you'll be familiar with this and it just makes the, the, the perfect engine for the bike so I'm going to pass over to Gobin now. Gobin's going to talk a little bit about the, the, the different propositions. The motorcycle is available in two different propositions. Uh, the Super Meteor 650 and the Super Meteor 650 Tourer. Uh, totally there are going to be seven colorways, uh, of which three colorways which are given here. The interstellar green, celestial red and the astral black and four more colors. Uh, the motorcycle will be available from spring 2023 uh, across the Europe for the delivery to the consumers. Uh, we have the well-engineered, tested, homologated, all the accessories which are fitted into these motorcycles like fly screen, handlebar, fog lamps, engine guard, seats, backrest and pannier. So Air Super Meteor can actually be loaded with all these accessories, can be a grand tourer. Uh, that's the Super uh, that's Meteor 650, 650 from Royal Enfield. So over to Sid to add the closing remarks on the entire launch. I never really took myself for a cruiser guy, but in the last few years, riding the prototypes of the Super Meteor, and uh, I've 
I think I've been transformed a bit. For me, this is an extremely refined motorcycle. When you ride it, the throttle response, when you, and it, you know, when, of course it's meant for straight roads, it does really well. But when you actually lean in, it, it feels absolutely natural, absolutely amazing. It's, it's got a full foot forward control, yet it's super agile. And, and to me, the, the form, the shape is, absolutely gorgeous as mark said we've really put a lot of effort into every little bit so please come and have a look at this motorcycle and i think this will make a cruiser ride out of me it's it's absolutely fascinating and and really for us we really believe that there is nothing absolutely nothing like this available in middleweight motorcycles such a refined such a gorgeous and capable uh, cruiser motorcycle. So thank you all very much for coming. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Please come and have a look at the motorcycles. Thank you.